four years. Been running fantastic. It's just running a little bit slow now, so I um, suspect that the hard drive's getting a bit uh, cluttered and bad sectors are forming. So rather than replace it with another hard drive of the same, I'm SSD drive. Um, it's only 120 gig, but um, it's going to make it go a lot faster. I'll just get the operating system and programs on that, and uh, any photos and videos will be stored on an external drive. Now, I've never done this before, and I am going to use my trusty iPad with a, a, a YouTube video, um, and by uh, Twisted Mac, um, he seems to know his onions on, on this sort of stuff, so I'm going to go follow his tutorial. And I've gone ahead and made my removal keys, just out of the two credit cards. Um, and this will help remove, you need these keys to remove the casing without breaking the clips that are behind. I've seen a couple of videos where um, they're just trying to pull it off and it does break. So we're going to hopefully do it the right way. Um, so, fingers crossed, my Mac will, uh, will accept the new heart transplant and everything will be okay. And I'll be back and running. I'm guessing it's going to take about an hour if everything goes alright. So, let's see how we go. Now, I also just want to mention, um, with the SSD drive, um, what I've done before, before I anything apart is copy the operating system that I've got there in there because that's a freshly installed uh, operating system um, I suppose the choice is up to you but I've installed the operating system I know it works I know that the drive's been formatted correctly because um, I've put it all in there and uh, how I've done that is I use super duper program for the Mac it's free um, and I've just got a um, USB cradle that um, you put your hard drive into, connected by USB, super duper sees that, accepts, uh, puts the operating system right uh, all over your new uh, SSD drive. It takes about 40 minutes. Um, that way there, I can boot the, the system up with this drive through USB by holding the option key on the, mic, uh, on the Mac as it's uh, booting up. And at least that way I know 100% the drive is working and it's been formatted properly and everything's fine. Um, otherwise you'll have that, if you put everything back together and something's not working, you can eliminate that the drive it, it is a problem with the operating system because it's already worked. So um, yeah, just a bit of a tip there. Uh, whether you're using an SSD or a normal drive, I'd still recommend you copy the operating system over onto it. Boot it up, make sure it all works. Uh, that way you can eliminate that as being any, any problems when you put it all back together. So, um, yeah, just thought I'd let you know that. Okay, first thing we need to do is remove the RAM, which consists of two Phillips head screws on the bottom here. remove the two screws, star configuration screws on the side. They are a different length and tight. And keep them separate. There's four of those. There you go. 
these. Make sure that the um, the the arms for the ram are pushed in. And now let's work our way out. Here it comes. Just got to work. Watch that eyesight camera. There's a cable there, that can be unplugged, and that also needs to be unplugged. So I'll go ahead and unplug these. That's pretty much phase one, step one, completed. Wasn't too bad. There are the, the clips. All we were doing was pushing that in to unleash it from the casing. Got a dust in there. Did a bit of a clean up. Okay, we're ready for the next part. We need to be removing. I don't know if you can see that. All this tape. Just carefully, because we need to put that all back. Now the only screws we need to remove from this are these two screws here, which hopefully manage to grind a tip down. I don't know if you can see that, but managed to get it to fit. Let's see. Yep, that fits. That's the pin, that's the connector there. Next step is to remove the screws. Okay, now we've removed the screws, we've undone the, the cable from here, it's time to lift the LCD panel out. Now, start gently by lifting it from the bottom, but there is a couple of screws uh, a couple of cables that we need to take off. So we reach in there. It's sticky tape on the top. It's a bit hard to get to when the monitor's in there, when the LCD screen's in there, so I suppose to do it once you remove it from the bottom. And that is the LCD screen. Okay, now I've removed uh, the two screws holding the bracket here. <coughs> One, two. Let me see now if I lift this up. And that, I believe that's the heat sensing cable. to remove that <coughs> under the cable uh, drive cables from the back and that's the hard drive removed so you'll need to remove these two pins and this bracket and any spaces in between and put them onto your new hard drive And I would say that that there is the heat sensor. Looks like it's just a bit of silicon on there. And that's it. That's ready to go back onto the new drive. As a solid state drive is only two and a half inch, it comes with a plate. 
and make it the same size as your three and a half. Okay. <coughs> so now I've put my bracket back onto the SSD drive. I've uh, reattached the heat sensor. I don't know how relevant that is to a, an SSD drive, but it's there. I've put it on and we'll reconnect that up. Couldn't use the same screws, different fitting on the bracket, so I've used some makeshift screws that I found lying around. Not the prettiest thing, but they're going to do the job. And I was only able to put one of these prongs on because the next one located in the sh uh, sh chassis of, of, of the um, iMac cradle, of the hard drive cradle, is back here somewhere, so I wasn't able to do that. But two fixing points here, plus that, that should be fine. I mean, it's, not, it's, not a, um, it's not a MacBook, it's stationary, it sits on your desk and yeah, you shouldn't have a problem with it. It all seems pretty secure, so um, now we just uh, reinsert it into the Mac. Because the last thing I'd want is that to fall off. I didn't, I didn't use any um, adhesive back on there or silicon. I just basically stuck it back on with what it had. So seems okay, but I think I'll put another piece of sticky tape over the top of that. I'm just going to use a bit of um, medical tape. This is from my first aid kit. This seems to um, hold a lot better. Under any heat than what, say, uh, electrical tape would. That's all it's going to need. And that's it. Time to put it all back together.